This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. Last night, Adam Schiff, former federal prosecutor, former intelligence chairman, a very smart individual. Adam Schiff did an interview with Lawrence O'Donnell on MSNBC, and he said they talked about two, a couple different things that I want to talk about. Two things that are very, very notable. I have been screaming and yelling for the better part of a year now about what I perceive as the inaction of the Department of Justice in the face of rampant criminality from the previous administration, from the Department of Justice. Merrick Garland, doing nothing. Some of you, many of you, uh, push back on my concern. You push back on my criticism of Merrick Garland and the Justice Department. And I don't want to make an appeal to consensus. I don't want to make appeal to authority. I don't want to uh, uh, have logical fallacies be the order of the day. But when someone is respected and well thought of and uh, as experienced in these matters, who is also a former intelligence committee chairman who has inside information that I don't have, when he also is echoing the concerns that I have, it, give, it should give me pause. It certainly should give you pause. Here is a clip where he voices the same exact concerns about the DOJ doing nothing related to Donald Trump's crimes. In your judgment as a former federal prosecutor yourself, uh, do you see a scenario where this committee might be at the end of its processes making a series of criminal referrals to the Justice Department, including on uh, witnesses like Jeffrey Clark, who presumably will use the Fifth Amendment as much as they possibly can. Uh, The Fifth Amendment, of course, actually is used when there is a legitimate belief that the witness could be indicted by delivering answers. Uh, So might that be one of the outcomes of this investigation? You know, it's certainly possible with respect to uh, any of the evidence that we gather that we will make referrals to the Justice Department. Uh, Indeed, of course, we have made a couple of referrals already in the case of people who were uh, in contempt of Congress uh, for refusing uh, to appear. Uh, But if we uncover sufficient evidence of other crimes, uh, we certainly can refer that to the Justice Department. Uh, But it's important for us to point out the Justice Department isn't waiting on us. Uh, They shouldn't wait on us. Uh, And historically, they don't wait on us. Uh, So they ought to be investigating these issues themselves. I do have some concern, as I've expressed to you before, Lawrence, that vis-a-vis some things, I don't see much action at the Justice Department, such as with respect to the former president's efforts to get the former or the current secretary of state of Georgia to find 11,780 votes that don't exist. Um, Those kind of referrals shouldn't wait on us. Uh, Those are the kind of things the department should be looking into on their own. So it's not just me. There are at least one member of Congress who has what it takes to stand and say the Department of Justice doesn't need Congress to do a criminal referral. They should be doing this on their own. Naming the one case in Georgia. Naming the one case in Georgia that's now being handled by the Fulton County District Attorney. Not the Attorney General of the state of Georgia. But a local DA has to have this on her shoulders because it appears no one else is doing anything about it. That should bother you. Because if justice is blind and and, 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 and doles out in equal measure across all peoples, then Donald Trump should be subjected to consequence. We all heard the tape where he instructed through threats to Brad Raffensperger, that what you need to do is find this amount of votes, 11,780 votes, or whatever the number was that he said. I believe it's that, which is one more than we got. He's communicating election fraud. It is tampering with our democracy. And if the DOJ isn't there to stop that from happening, then what is it there for? And I'm glad to hear. Thank you, Congressman Schiff. 
for stating as such. Maybe not in the same words that a bombastic guy like me says them, but certainly his measured pushback and criticism or vocalized concern should wake somebody up in the DOJ, should wake somebody up in the administration. Now, there's another part of this I want to play, and it's them talking about this floating of pardons for the insurrectionists and how it shows intent. It goes to Donald Trump's intent. Otherwise, because why would he float the pardons if not for the protection of himself? Watch this. The former president has a long history of attempts to intimidate witnesses and to reward those uh, that agree to uh, either keep silent or lie to cover up for him. Uh, he, for example, uh, pardoned Roger Stone for lying to Congress to cover up for the president. Uh, he and his attorney general, Bill Barr, made a criminal case involving Michael Flynn uh, go away completely after Flynn pled guilty repeatedly to lying to the FBI. Uh, and as you say, uh, he dangled pardons in front of Manafort. He uh, also went after people who cooperated with the government, like Michael Cohen, and called them a rat used language we would expect of organized crime. Uh, I, I think his recent statements, as well as the public reports of prior uh, inquiries about pardoning people involved in attacking the, the Capitol Police that day, um, they go to a couple things. They go to his intent. Uh, if this violence against the Capitol wasn't part of the plan or wasn't something he condoned, then why would he uh, consider pardoning them? So I think it's very important evidence as to his intent. Uh, but it also is, uh, I think, part of that broader pattern, Lawrence, to influence potentially what witnesses have to say or whether they will say it. Articulately stated, simply stated, they go to his intent. If this violence against the Capitol wasn't part of the plan or wasn't something he condoned, then why would he consider pardoning them? For all of Trump, Donald Trump's talk about unfairness, it's unfair. He never says anything that is unfair. What is it that's unfair? Justice? Held to account for your crimes? Attempting to overthrow the United States government? Attempting to overturn a free, fair, settled, democratic American election? Is that unfair? What do you think? I would love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me, daily at dollamore.com. I love and appreciate you guys. Thanks for all of your time and attention. Thanks for engaging with my content. Thanks for subscribing. It's because of you that I just surpassed 350,000 subscribers, which look, it doesn't make me one of the top YouTubers even in my space at all, but uh, it is far above and beyond anything I ever could have dreamed could have been possible at all. And it's because of your passion for the topics that we talk about. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore just about everywhere. And if I bring you value, if I do something for you, if I give you a smile or, or information that you can take into your week, please consider supporting my work. Please consider helping this channel and this operation grow you can click the join button below this video, become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine and take care of one another.